That warning would be one of more than 20 issued across the state of Arkansas alone over the course of the afternoon and evening. Supercells were tracking northeast at over 50 miles per hour, giving residents very little time to react. As the sun began to set, tornado activity showed no signs of slowing down. Multiple long track tornadoes were simultaneously active in Iowa, Illinois, and Tennessee. Cities such as Covington, Wynn, and Belvedere were either under tornado warnings or recovering from recent impacts. Power outages were spreading, cell service was being disrupted, and the scope of the disaster was growing by the hour. March 31st was quickly becoming one of the most active and destructive tornado days the United States had experienced in over a decade, and the night was still ahead, as darkness fell across the Midwest and South on the evening of Friday. March 31st, the tornado threat intensified. After sunset, supercells maintained their strength and continued 